Avengers Imperial Probe Droid live build. Live build today. Oh my. So what do we got going here? We've got a lot of squirrels on the table. We've got the Imperial box. And we're just kind of chilling here, catching a few viewers dropping in already. And our first viewer says hello. Hello. And uh, so let me get going because this is like a huge build. This is probably maybe definitely over an hour build. Uh, but I don't think it'll be too crazy. We'll find out. We'll just find out. So here's the Imperial Star Wars probe droid. The Imperial Star Wars probe droid. That came out funny. It is just released, I think, the 25th of April. And it's always one of my favorite little weird droids. It's like half insect, half droid, half legs. A lot of fun. So it should be good. Should be good build. I like that it's symmetrical a little bit. It's round. There'll be several different legs coming from it. I think it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a really cool build. So let's open this box up and see what's inside. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Some comments coming in already. What's the next review after this? Uh, should be Transformers Kingdom. A lot of really cool dinosaurs in that series. And then there is a Mario video coming, too. All right, so oh, bag one of pieces. That was easy. Bag five. That's not so easy. Drop a few more here on the table. We'll try to adjust the camera accordingly. Whoa. All right. Oh, one more bag way in there. It was like stuck in the fold. Oh, these are like all the little weird technical attachments. Thank you for uh, watching, guys. For the comments coming through. So good to see everybody. So here's our instruction booklet. Look at that. A little bit more fancy on these sets again. And usually there's like a little bit of fun information on these. A tribute to our favorite Star Wars droids. And oh, we'll get right into building pretty soon there. That's how you use a brick separator. So bag one's not going to be very exciting. That's the base and two and three and four and five. So we'll, we'll get going pretty quickly here. How many steps do I have to <laughs> anticipate today? A hundred and 182 steps to build. So we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work, a lot of work to do, but we got a lot of squirrels here to help out. And I think we'll be good. I'm gonna clear my table a little bit. Oh look, a pow block. Who wants the pow block? I'll put that up there. Um, okay. So now I'm going to adjust my camera just ever so slightly so we can get to the table a little better. And it's kind of crooked, kind of crooked. There we go, looks good. If anybody wants something to drink, the uh, droid over here has some refreshments for everybody and uh, I think Zilla Squirrel, you should kind of move off to the side so we have some room. And I could have sworn I had, I guess he's on this side. We'll put the, uh, the Wampa over here on this side. And now we can kind of figure this out. Okay, so there's some stickers. My best Han Solo voice. I don't think I do a very good Han Solo. That would be a trick. Oh, there's six bags, so six bags. There's one. I like Ninjago more. I love the Ninjago builds too. We've got kind of a little bit of a, a wait until the next Ninjago rolls out. Drink some orange juice here. <laughs> All right, bag one. It's these tiny pieces that are really gonna slow us down today, aren't they? We'll find out. We'll find out what goes on here. Have you seen, I have not seen the latest Ninjago. I was kind of wanting to, I really hate watching it 
um, on YouTube because the quality isn't very good. And I really, that's one of the reasons I didn't like season 14. And well, season 14 was short, but it was hard to watch just with the poor quality. Like one of the episodes was like all completely messed up and really took me out of it. So now I'm kind of just like, eh, if I can wait till Netflix gets it, then I'd be much happier to see it, you know, l louder, better stereo, all that. Or I guess I should just like get Cartoon Network or what is it on now? Is it on Cartoon Network or is it on Nickelodeon? Of course, we start out with white bricks on a white table. Sorry about that. It's hard to see. I looking for right now I haven't seen this in a long time well thanks for stopping in and watching a little bit here today as I fumble around building bag one of the Imperial probe droid oh I was gonna put the box in the background um, so people who drop in know what we're building although I think it's on the title I'll get to that hopefully here in a minute Let's see, can we trade places, Wampa, with this box? And at least gives someone an idea of how many pieces we're working with here. <laughs> it's kind of the, the legs of the droid. Oh no, Lloyd lost his hand? That's never any good. I've only had, and I don't, um, I'm pretty gentle with my minifigures, but I've only had a couple. I've had a Steve break an arm um, or like his torso midsection cracked and so that resulted in his arm falling out easier. I think that was my worst breakage on a minifigure. And then as for Lego pieces, my most common piece to break would be those little C clips, the little C's where you attach rods. I call them, I don't know, do they have a, a better name for that? Um, I've broke many of those. I had one set, it was Star Wars. It was one of those little mini Star Wars sets. Um, an X-Wing. I think it was Poe Dameron's X-Wing. That doesn't look right, hang on. What did I do, what did I do? And all four of them that hold in the X-Wing. Oh, that's why I gotta spin this around. All four of the clips that held each wing of the X-Wing just broke, just broke. I'm going to pull the camera down just a little more, give you a better view. That's a little better. So yeah, it's, it's always sad when that happens. At least you can get replacements. I think in that case, they're either the, the rods weren't designed, were built thicker or something in that case, and it just snapped them all or they were just faulty pieces because it was a, a lower small set. I think, I'm guessing this is going to be the hardest part of the build. I don't know why, it's just white pieces are always tricky. They kind of blend in together for me on the table. And I'm hoping that as I get into the probe droid itself, it'll be a little easier.
think I got it going. Will you upload more Bakugan videos? Yeah, I've almost got, I think, another good assortment to show. Um, what did I find? I found I found some um, some of the gold tinted ones or the gold highlighted ones or two of them. Those are really cool. Um, so several different new characters to look at, new new um, Bakugan. So I'm excited to show those, but it might be a little while. It might be a few weeks out on that because I'm going to try and see if I can find just a couple more things because um, it's nice to be able to show as much as I can. Um, so stay tuned. I, I, there's some really cool ones. I just love Bakugan line. I, I'm having, I just, it's just one of those cool toy lines that, you know, has a theme either turn into a marble or a small shape. It's just cool. And then there's a game obviously associated. I don't get to play the game very much, but I do enjoy just the toy quite a bit. What is my next video? So again, my next video will probably be Transformers Beast Wars or Transformers Kingdom. There's a really cool T-Rex Megatron that I can't wait to show. And then something's wrong here. Um, oh dear. When did this, how did I miss this piece? Like this, I think. Come on. There we go. Really cool um, Megatron and a really cool Optimus. And I have my old, my old Beast Wars Transformers in the video too. So you can kind of see old and new. And so they're, some of the, some things are good with the new, some things aren't, but it's, it's they're, you know, each one has their, their coolness. And so it's, it's pretty exciting. Actually, I think Black Arachnia is nearby. This is kind of a creepy one now. Put by, but there's Black Arachnia. Super creepy. I'll let her sit there for a while. And she was a tough, tough transform, I thought. Some of the other ones are pretty good, but she was really tricky, I thought. And then I also have a Lego, it's kind of like a Lego Mario versus Lego, um, Lego Mario versus Mario action figures. So I've got, I found a bunch of Mario action figures I haven't opened. And so I'm just going to open a whole bunch with a little bit of a battle between Lego Mario. And it's cool. There's so many. I couldn't believe I had so many backed, back um, Mario figures. And then there's one more I um, have going. What's the other video that I have going? Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. I finally got the pizzeria simulator going. And in fact, we'll bring out Foxy here. Foxy's really nearby. These were some of the hardest builds of any of the McFarland sets. And you can see that by Amazon's ratings too. Everyone is just like, what is this? These are the worst builds. They're so hard. They're no fun. They're fun. They're just difficult. You have to go in and think, okay, this is going to be the hardest thing I'm, I'm going to build today. And you have to really focus. At what you're doing. Meanwhile, I hope everything's going together because this is so organic that I'm kind of like speeding through it. Oh, good. I like it when you get a break sometimes and it says, stop over here and start this. And you're like, okay, at least I can get a ground, ground base. Oh, but now I already have to attach it to this thing. Oh, well, I don't think this has to be exactly perfect because it's just the weight that the droid sits on. So we're going to be just fine.
Oh, it's these little pieces. Were these pieces invented with the Mixels? I think they might have been. What is your favorite Lego food piece? Good question. Um, I think, like, the whole chicken is pretty hilarious. Um, I forgot what sets that came in, but there's one giant chicken. It doesn't even have, like, legs to move and stuff. It's great. I love that one. So there's that one. You can't go wrong with the classic banana Lego piece. That one's pretty neat. I like the Lego banana. And um, did, are there any pieces I missed? Who is your favorite Lego Star Wars character? Oh, that's a tough one. Did you notice I have an old school rebel pilot back here? Yellow face. Not rebel pilot, excuse me. Um, rebel trooper, Hoth trooper. That came with one of the first snow speeder sets. I still have somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where I put it right now. I should have I should have had that set out here. If I can I think I know where it is, so if I remember and I have some time, I'll bring it out. As for character, what is my favorite Star Wars? You know, the Grievous minifigure is pretty cool. That one's fun. Um, but maybe a little too, too fun. Too, a little too much fun. Because <laughs> he's got so many arms and legs to keep track of. Where does this piece go? Oh, they fooled me. Trick, trick, trick. This is actually this piece. I do like the Tauntaun over here. Now, does the Tauntaun count? I think the Tauntaun should count. I can't wait to get into bag number three, I think, is where we start seeing the probe droid really come together. So I'm trying to race through this part. Probably should have just had this part built. Note to self, next time I do one of these, have the display base just pre-built because it's kind of boring to watch. No, it's really cool, really cool. Keep keep watching everybody, it's awesome. Focus. <laughs> what is your favorite Lego Ninjago set? My favorite one, oh, there's so many cool ones. The movie sets were so cool. Um, oh wow, what can I choose for that even? Although the Destiny Bounty is pretty nice. I, oh, the Land Bounty. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Land Bounty. I think that set was fun. It's up on my shelf behind me. You usually see it when I'm um, talking. And that set. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, I got it right. Okay. That set, Land Bounty, just has... A lot, I think all the ninja come with it, pretty much. And it just has that... Like, detachable flyer and big wheels really good set oh we get to the plate this is the part i was dreading big sticker on live live do you do everything that everybody likes about toys i like so many different things that it's such a challenge for me i'm a big fan of just everything like i don't i can't just collect one toy but I don't collect everything of, of a specific toy. It's just impossible, and especially nowadays, because they're always... Oh, did I get it? That was stressful. There's always some sort of, like, convention exclusive or some one-store exclusive that makes it so hard to find, it ruins the fun. So that's why I kind of collect a little bit of everything, because... When you're kind of trying to get hard things to find, it's just not as fun to me. I like to find medium hard things to find. If that makes any sense. <laughs> Look how it snowed on this sign. This is my... I did the BB-8 droid set too, and I'd like to do the new R2-D2 set. Hopefully. If I do R2, I'll do a regular video for it. 
I just thought this would be perfect for some live. It's fun. Hello, Break with Dylan says hello. I usually don't um, get to reading everybody's names because I'm kind of focused on this. Okay. Who's your favorite Lego character? Oh, there's so many. I like the Lego shark guy. He's pretty cool. Like if you go to minifigures, he's pretty awesome. Hot dog man, pretty cool. <laughs> there's so many, it's hard to have a favorite one. And guess what? I think we're done with bag one. We I, you know, there's a couple extra pieces. I'm not gonna worry about it, but there's our stand. A couple extra pieces, no worries. Um, you could easily integrate those in. So I think the most important part is this structure right here. Actually, no, because I think something's coming out of it. So yay, there's that one. We go on to bag two, bag two. Do you plan on doing Robot Inventor? Do I know Robot Inventor? Are you talking Lego Robot Inventor? I really should. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, a couple stragglers. Always check your bags. And always open them near a vent on a hardwood floor so they just scatter going all the way down the vent. Taking so long. Yeah, this is the long haul video. This isn't something we're going to be here, you know, a speed build. This is just kind of like, stop by, listen to a chat. If you want a refreshment, the droid's got some drinks over here. Luke's upside down. Minecraft, favorite Lego Minecraft figure. Oh, that's a good one because there's so many. Well, I like the Moo Shroom and the Moo Bloom. But those are builds, aren't they? So a minifigure. Um, the pirate is pretty cool with the pirate set. I like that one with the pirate ship. So this now we are building. I'll show you in the instructions. This now is bag two, and we're going to build the central core of our probe droid. So I'm excited for this part. This is probably the coolest part. Who is your favorite YouTuber? Oh, let's see. I used to watch That's Ridiculous for quite a... No, is that That's Ridiculous? How Ridiculous? The guys who throw stuff off um, stuff off the tall tower and pop things and, and drop things. I watched those guys for quite a bit. It's been a while, though. Um, I don't get to watch too much. Jang Bricks is pretty cool. I like watching his stuff. He's got such a clean, clean build um, setup. So I'm always interested to stop by his channel once in a while. Favorite Minecraft toy? Well, it usually is the, um, the mountain cave, but I also really like the first night, the original first house set. Well, not the original, there's some micro, which I have a micro set and I need to build one of these days. Um, the original first night house was just, it's just such a perfect build. You got this house, you've got um, a lot of little items in there. It was well done from the start. That's not the piece I'm looking for. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Probe droid's a little more square. What animal do you like? What animals? I'm a dog and cat person. I love both, if that's what you're asking. And squirrels, of course. I love squirrels. Having a moment here. Nope, what am I looking for? Ooh, I am looking for this piece right here. What's your favorite squirrel? 
Well, Landry is the first squirrel, so we always like Landry. His antics are the best, and I believe it's a fox squirrel. We've got this kind of squirrel in my neck of the woods. I think eastern USA has red squirrels more, am I right? We've got, we're northwestern, so this is a very common squirrel. You'll see this guy more northwest, northeast, right? That's my guess. And the gray squirrel, this might be more southern, right? I'm not sure, though. I, don't, I should know my squirrel history. Next video, squirrel history with Squirrel Stampede. Why am I having the hardest time finding this one piece? There we go. Yay! <coughs> what is my favorite Star Wars character? Hmm, Grievous. I like Grievous quite a bit. Um... I like Lando. <laughs> Lando's awesome. He makes me laugh. I used to do a great Lando impression when they first arrive at Bespin. He just, he seems so happy. <laughs> like he's the happiest guy. I mean, when, you know, not always, but <laughs> when he's happy, he's like the happiest guy and it's awesome. Just puts a smile on my face. And I like, is it Max Rebo? Is Max Rebo the little purple blue elephant guy who plays in Jabba's um, band? I like that one too <laughs> for an alien or a Jabba player, Jabba mu musician, Muppet. I should say for a Muppet, that's the better term. What is my favorite Lego theme? I think my favorite is, is usually goes back to Minecraft. I enjoy playing Minecraft, and then the builds are always just entertaining. So I like Minecraft quite a bit. And then everything else is awesome, too. <laughs> um, this is where I hear the dro probe droid is a little technical. I've heard it can be a little um, tricky from my friends over at Bricknology. They're the best, so... They said, watch out. It gets a little tricky in here, I think. I bet you this is where it is. What is my favorite Hot Wheels toy? Well, I just can't get enough of... Is it right near me? It was near me. Let me go get it. It's really close. The Zombot. I can't get enough of the Zombot. And this is the Rock and Sockum version. And I found a blue one too. There's a blue one. There's a blue one out. And I love it because it's both robot and car. It's so cool. No transformation. You just stand up. I have several of these in several colors. And there's also the shark one that I like quite a bit too. But the, the Zombot, easily my favorite. Oh, and Barbie's Dream Camper. <laughs> Where is that? I gotta pull that out. That is also one of my faves this year. It's just so cool. Let's go get it. Are you ready for this? There it is. It's so pink. She's coming by to watch. The turtle van's pretty cool too. Any of the specialty ones are so funny. Special themed cars where why when can you do ben 10 so i'm kind of behind on ben 10 that's for sure i didn't get to see the new movie show and then i had some of the figures lined up but then not all of them and now i'm kind of behind i'm so behind that you know i don't know if i'm gonna get to them. Uh oh okay i gotta concentrate really quick here did i get this right Okay, this goes this way. I got to just make sure that these clips are lined up with what I'm building. And I think I, I didn't spin it too much. So yeah, I'm a little bit behind on Ben 10. I don't know if I'm going to get to them or not. I know it's kind of winding down this year. And so it's so much harder to find 
Ben 10 in my area. Like I go to Target mostly and they rarely have stuff. Lego Marvel. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a Lego Marvel set, hasn't it? I really wanted to do the Stark Tower from last year and I didn't get to it. And I couldn't, there wasn't too much this year yet that really caught my eye. I wanted to do, a, I haven't done a Spider-Man set either. Um, you, as much as I love the Marvel sets, they usually um, get back burner over like Ninjago and um, Minecraft. But I, I think I'll try to find something because that's a good point. I do enjoy them. What is my favorite dinosaur? Um, I usually like, oh, there's so many. I think I change this answer every time, don't I? Um, Tyrannosaurus Rex is pretty cool. <laughs> and so is, um, um, oh, it seems like there's one right on the tip of my tongue that I'm like, oh, you know, I really like that one. I always forget about it. Hmm, who would that be? Minecraft minifigure series 23. Are you going to do it? Please. I really want to see them. Is that the series that's been out for a little bit already? Or is there another one? I'm getting so lost on my minifigures. Um, I don't think I've ordered them yet. I, I will have Looney Tunes. I will do a Looney Tunes review soon. I've got them on order. I'm a little late on the game on that, but that's okay. Um, so I'll, that'll probably be in a week or so. Um, I'll go through those. I really should get back to the minifigures because I used to, I have like series two and up pretty much, except for I never really got into Harry Potter because I don't know Harry Potter very well. And, um, there uh, was the, not DC. I missed like one of the Simpsons, most of the Simpsons or something. The first Simpsons I got, but the second series of Simpsons I missed, I think. This build is really interesting. When can you do some Minecraft education? What is that? That sounds interesting. When will you do Treasure X? Um, Treasure X, uh, I don't know if they have much coming out until fall right now. Um, I talked with, had a great chat with Moose about a month ago or so, and some things I don't think I can share yet. Um, some really cool things coming this fall. Um, maybe, and I can't remember what what was said, but so Dino, the Dino Minis we did in January, there should be some hunters, uh, some, larger, some larger figures, and I think something might surprise us from that series Midsummer, because um, the Dino line was so cool, and it was so weird how it was just like, just minis and that was it it's like but dinos are cool i want to see more dinosaurs so there might be something that'll surprise us but i a lot of the stuff we're kind of waiting on right now what did i do oh okay this thing oh, okay i'm missing one gray two by two i'm kind of looking for it right now i hope i didn't um do something weird with it Oh, I see it. I see it. If you're just joining in, there's the Barbie camper. <laughs> the Barbie camper's here today. Oh, gosh. Thank you, everyone, for joining in today. This is the Lego Star Wars Imperial Probe Droid, if you have not figured out what I'm doing yet. Um, this is a longer build, for sure. Long build. But it's a fun one. I like it. I like it a lot so far. What's my favorite squirrel? Uh, definitely Landry over here. I think we've we've brushed on that in just a few seconds. Um, this is weird. Right here. Goes there. Almost getting close to the end of bag two. This for uh, you know the set's building pretty quickly because I can't find pieces all of a sudden again. Whoops, how many pieces in this set? 683, 
a little bit much for a live, but I thought, oh, okay, we got this. It'll be fun. Hope my battery holds out. I think we're good. I had it completely charged. Doot. Doot. Okay. This will be an interesting part. Please do R2-D2. Yeah, I would definitely like to do R2-D2. So I'm going to kind of figure out how to get that. I did be, it would be perfect to sit next to BB-8 on a shelf. So looking forward to that. Let's see, did I get that right? kind of half concentrating right now making sure I do this part correctly four times yes definitely want to do the r2d2 set so stay tuned for that I'm not sure when I'm gonna to get to it um, but I will I might actually go look f is it out already I with at the May 4th I thought it was when it was coming out um, But I got a little off this week. We watched The Force Awakens on May 4th. And that was the first time I've seen The Force Awakens, I think, since I saw it in the theater. Did I get all that right? One there, one there, one there, and one there. All right, now we're going to do the other sides. Are, am I going to do the Bad Batch? Is there a Bad Batch set? I really need to keep up with what's coming out. If there's a Bad Batch set, I should. I haven't watched it yet. I wanted to rewatch The Clone Wars um, first, and I have not. I only got through like season two or something, season one, so. What's nice is there's so much Star Wars content right now, it's like you get behind and then you've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> you got a lot of, lot of stuff to watch. Which is a good thing, because it's like, oh, what am I going to watch? Okay, The Mighty Ducks. Um, okay. So these are going to go... Oh, oh, dear, I dropped a piece, but I think I saw where it landed. I think it might be time to update my table surface. I've had this table for a good two or three years now, and I need to get something heavier and less angled. Got to put that on my to-do list. Okay. Interesting. There's kind of a little gap going on. Oh, something's going to fit in there. That'll be cool. What did I drop? Ooh. One of these. Hi, I'm watching you on my Nintendo. Really? I made it to Nintendo. Awesome. What have we been playing on Nintendo lately? Um, still a little bit of Sword and Shield. And I play Minecraft usually on my Nintendo. And um, I bought the Monster Jam game, but it wasn't, I was kind of disappointed in that one. I've played, I had Monster Truck Madness years ago, years and years ago. And that game was awesome. And this one wasn't, wasn't the same. Do you have a Nintendo 2DS? I don't know what do I have no <laughs> I don't think I do I have I had I had the first DS years ago oh, oh no oh no and now switch has pretty much taken over my Nintendo playing I still have my original Nintendo or Game Boy and I have a yellow Game Boy when it was like Game Boy color and then like it wasn't really color it was just the color of the <laughs> Game Boy or like a slightly different color on screen
One more of those. Do I play Piggy on Roblox? I've only played it a couple times when I back when I first got those cool toys. I really need to play some more. Lately, I've been playing um, Resort Tycoon. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so easy. All you do is look for stuff and, and build what it tells you to build um, and save your money. I've been building that one. That one's just fun. Um, so this is cool. I like this part. Lego Luigi is coming. Yes, that's exciting. Not until like what? August though? So we got a little bit more time to wait. I do have a Lego Mario video coming up. Lego Mario versus Lego action figure Mario. Should be quite fun. Did I miss something here? <laughs> There's something basic on this side. No, I guess I got it right. I've spun this a few times, so now I'm like, Ugh, did I get this the right direction? I guess it doesn't matter. This part is cool. We're just going to cover this in. And we have built the most expensive squirrel conference table ever. We must attack from the north. No, we must attack from the west. Over here! What's with the squirrel voices? They're kind of off right now. Um, I don't think they like it when I mime them. Hello, hello everybody for joining in. We've made it to bag three. Celebrate, what a cool structure this is so far. Look at that, that's cool. So we got our stand, we got our structure. And we're on bag three. Favorite Ninjago season. The recent ones with Prime Empire and uh, the Mines of Shintaro or whatever. The, that was the best season ever. That was so cool. The Prime Empire was so entertaining. Oh, both of them are so cool. So much character in those. You've been watching that long, Penguins Forever? That's awesome. Thank you. Pretty crazy, huh? We've been around for a while. Having fun building. Okay, what am I doing first here? Okay, bring back the, the most expensive conference table ever. And uh, make sure it's pointed the direction this way. This, this little piece right here is our ground piece. of. I got to make sure I'm not going to rotate this. When are you going to do Gujitsu? Um, let's see here. That one, I think we're kind of waiting until fall, until the space heroes come out. So we got some time on that. I might do, someone suggested I do Heroes of Gujitsu Hulk versus Mechagodzilla. And I thought that was a pretty good idea. So I might do that if I could find a Hulk. I never found a Hulk before. What has happened so far? I just joined. Well, let's see. I started, we built that Zombot here. Let's get Zombot out of here. We have built the base. We've built in bag one. Bag two was this core. And now we're on bag three, which is some of the rest of this core of the Imperial Probe Droid. And we've kind of chatted about all sorts of weird things. So all sorts of awesomeness. Thank you everybody for, for watching, giving likes and, uh, Enjoying a live build, a longer live build than normal. It's been about a month or two since we've done a live build, too. Uh-oh, something just cracked. Oh, okay, not bad. I gotta be less, a little less aggressive. All good, all good. Everybody, all good. How much was this set? This set runs, was it, I think it's 60. I think the head sculpts and this one kind of was like mashed in with the heads, the helmets, I should say, and it was 60. I picked it up at lego.com. I should have been smarter and picked it up at my local Bricknology store. 
we've got a great store nearby called Bricknology, and they they often get um, sets on the day or close to the day, and so you don't have to wait for shipping as much and and all waiting. So I should have got it from them. Do next time. Um, but yeah, I ordered this off Lego.com, and I just got it yesterday. I was like, oh cool. Perfect timing. I'm like, I needed something. To, I wanted to do a live build, and I was like, I gotta have something to do and something interesting and different. And I, I was curious to see. So my Star Wars, I don't do Star Wars Lego very much. And so when I do, yeah, they're helping out. When I do build Star Wars, the views are usually really low. Um, I don't know if it's just because people are way more interested in Ninjago and Minecraft. Maybe it's just my channel feed. Maybe Star Wars is oversaturated on the internet. Um, but when I like I did Lego Moss Eisley last week, and it was pretty quiet. Um, so if you go on go see my Lego Moss Eisley's build, please check it out. Um, but so Star Wars is usually kind of quiet on the channel. The only ones that and I again I don't build very much. The only one I think I did that really was kind of popular over years was BB-8. And um, the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. And, and those were big, really cool names, too, so I can see that. Um, maybe I'm just picking the wrong sets, but I, always, I, pick the, I usually pick the set that I want to build, so <laughs> that's how it starts. And then, um, you know, hope that everyone enjoys it just as much as I enjoy it, so. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Might help if I put this the right direction. That was great. <laughs> yes, this is Squirrel Stampede. Squirrel Stampede is building right now. The Imperial Probe Droid. This is a cool little piece thing I'm building right this moment. It looks like a little science station or something. Choot. We're going to flip this thing upside down like that. And we're going to make sure these clips here are pointed towards me. I think that's probably the biggest challenge of this build is since it's circular, you're going to want to constantly check to see directions. Oh, a sticker. Well, there's not many stickers. That's good. This is just about the right amount of stickers. I'm not the biggest fan of stickers. I want the brick to tell the story, not not the stickers. But sometimes a few to highlight are fine. And get crooked. Ooh, Bakugan, yeah. I've got a few, few new Bakugan, so bear with me on that. A um, couple more weeks, and I will have another Bakugan review coming. They're tricky to find, like... Sometimes you'll go to the store and there'll just be like one new one. You're like, oh, cool. <laughs> it just takes a while to find them. Find some cool ones to share. So where does this go? Okay, so I'm going to rotate like that. This goes down here. Nice little light up piece and probably a sticker right next to that too. It's a shame I can't turn notifications on. Okay, to fix that, try unsubscribing, resubscribing. That should reset your um, notifications. YouTube likes to um, likes to trick with us, but that's the usually the best way to get them going again. And then if that doesn't work, oh no, I don't know what to do. Oh, this is this is an interesting part coming up. 
Do you like these pieces? You saw me in a store once. Did you say hi? Oh my goodness, you got to say hi. I have never, ever been, ever <laughs> been like spotted anywhere and someone said, hey, are you a YouTuber? Probably because I don't show my face very much. Um, more so this year though. I'm just trying to get the algorithm to, to know that I'm a, a real human. <laughs> I am a human. I am a person. Uh, yeah, if you ever see me, just go, hey, are you, you know, say hi. That'd be so cool. Like, Because, again, I've never had that experience before. I'd love to meet someone in real life. Kind of go, oh, I, I don't know, just like. It's hard to put into words who, you know, who's watching at times because it just doesn't, sometimes it doesn't connect when you don't see your fans or people out in the world. I hope I got these in the right direction. I better check. Oops, that's a tight piece. Come on, there we go. This is solid. This is one solid hunk of droid. If you were to drop this part down the stairs, it would survive. But now we're going to put in some details that probably wouldn't survive a stair fall. I used to love throwing my Lego down the stairs when I was a kid <laughs> and then rebuilding it. I have a ship nearby that has flown off the stairs so many times and was rebuilt. this where does this go this is weird i don't know where this goes kind of tucks in here i guess i'm gonna go here i don't really have a that's gotta be it i don't really totally know where that fit what state do you live in? We are in Northwest USA. I won't say the exact state, but we are Northwest USA. So like, I'll give you three states as a clue. Um, Washington, Oregon, Nevada. Not Nevada. <laughs> Washington, Oregon, Idaho, somewhere in there. Lego means in Latin, put together. Really? That's pretty cool. I thought it meant, I thought there was another one too, like um, let's play or something, or let's, let's build, I don't know. I don't know if I'm putting these in the right spots. Oh no, that's a good, that's the right spot. I got that one right. I think this could be the challenge of the probe droid is there's going to be lots of little um, details hanging off and and um, little instruments and things. And so when you're building it, they're going to pop off on you probably. I think that's one of the challenges. Yeah, Treasure X. So yeah, it's just going to be a little while. We're waiting for the fall lineup. Um, unless I, sometimes I come up with something crazy to, to do in between. Maybe I'll, maybe I might have some stuff. I'll look around. Um, but yeah, there, there may or may not. It's just kind of, we're in this weird, like, I know there's a big fall lineup of several really cool things coming. Um, but it's kind of held for a little while. I think toy companies are slowing down right now. Um, with things going on, they 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 slow the releases down by just a little bit. Oh, I'm glad there's a a central structure to holding this guy up. I thought it was just going to be all the clear pieces, all these clear cylinders. Two, ten of these. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, uh, uh. 
Uh, I better count. Well, there's none left, so I think we got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, there should be 11, shouldn't there? Because it said start with one and then add 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. There should be 11. There it is. I'm so glad I counted. I knew that sounded weird because you started, they started with one and then they added 10. There we go. <laughs> Yay. And now we can bring out our display base. I think I'm gonna have to adjust my camera just a little bit. Do you have a pet? Yeah, we have a golden doodle. There we go, try that. Pokemon cards, it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's so hard to get cards right now, oh my goodness. I found the latest series only in the booster, not booster, um, just single card pack, so I'm kind of bummed. How hard it is right now to get cards it's really been taken over okay what direction they want this thing to sit like this <laughs> this is so cool <laughs> look at that okay so i need to adjust my camera a little more again maybe back down for us it is about i don't know what time it is right now it's like 11 a.m or something Right now, I've gone an hour now. Look at that. So let's get some guys out of the way. Move this creepy spider. <laughs> NASA, oh, that would be fun to do the discovery set, wouldn't it? Okay, so let's put that there. Anybody want some refreshments? The droid is there. Barbie's camper is here. <laughs> These are extra pieces. I'm just gonna put them into an extra piece pile. Got several rebel troopers protecting. Couple, couple, um, that guy can lay down. What is your favorite game? Um, I like Minecraft quite a bit. What are we on, bag three now? No, four? Bag four, okay, we made it to bag four. Sorry, just taking a little break here. Bag four is some of the arms. Some of the arms coming off our probe droid. And where did bag four go? I'm actually kind of worried. Where's bag five? Oh, there it is. Okay, there's four. <laughs> is that a grim foxy? Good eye. That is. I finally got to the pizzeria series. So that video will be up in about some time. Um, still trying to kind of finish it up. What is my favorite band? I don't listen to music too often. I used to be a big soundtrack person. I liked Star Wars music and Indiana Jones, John Williams stuff, Danny Elfman, Hans Zimmer. But I haven't really, movie soundtracks have not been as good as they used to be. They're so electrical now, or so something. So we got the legs of our droid. How old am I? Old enough to have seen the Wild West. Each arm, see this right here, these pieces break the most on me. So I'm a little worried. This is the same setup I had. I had Poe Dameron's X-Wing and it had um, the black C-clips and a black rod. And I don't know if it was what happened there. It never sat in the sun or anything weird. And every one of those clips broke on me and it just sat on my desk. And then, you know, I'd pick it up and play with it every once in a while. And one day I picked it up and it no work. <laughs> it's like, no, oh, Damron, what happened? <laughs> what is my favorite part of Titanic? Are we talking the movie or are we just talking the ship in general? Am I, did I just skip a stage here? No, we got it, we're good. I don't know, that's a good question. My favorite part of Titanic. 
the ship. Okay. <laughs> I like the smokestacks. They're cool looking. <laughs> I don't know. That's a that's a hard question. It's so eerie to look at the wreck photos, especially some of like the of the three D, two D, whatever they can do now with computers and and kind of show the whole wreck site. It's pretty amazing. Indiana Jones Five. <laughs> I think he's a little old. I don't know. Um, I don't know how Harrison Ford's gonna pull that off unless they kind of bring in new blood. Um, kind of do it like they did the young Indiana Jones Chronicles would be fun again. Say hello to me, please. Hello. <laughs> I'm trying to build so I don't, I kind of glance down and I read things. And I kind of missed some things. This right now looks like a vehicle in itself. Doesn't this look like a little Star Wars vehicle? <laughs> or like a Tron car, a light car. But it actually is the leg of the droid. I have my window open. Can anyone hear the birds? outside in my backyard i'm curious are you listening to this on headphones that sort of thing let me know if you can hear birds are there birds on hoth can you do titanic micro block set that would be fun i think i heard rumors that there's going to be a a Lego Titanic, finally, maybe. So if the Lego ever makes a Titanic, I'll jump on that. Micro bricks are really hard to do on video because they are so small and they're usually so temperamental that I think I would probably go crazy. I mean, it's worth a shot. <laughs> um, I think the only... And now this was an official micro bricks. I don't think the only micro builds I've ever done and, and not on the video on not on the channel but were um some crossy road micros Have I seen the new Ninjago season 15 sets? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I'm looking forward to a few of those. Um, I love underwater themes. And so that's going to be cool. Underwater. And it'll like mix well with... Um, oh, here's a weird piece. It'll mix well with all the cool ocean sets I bought last year. Ah! So yeah, I'm excited for those. I was surprised I actually got through. I actually built everything from the last season 14. I just enjoyed that. I enjoyed the look so much of the island theme that I was just like, enjoyed picking those up. They were fun to build. Oh yeah, that rocket from China. Has anyone seen it yet? <laughs> That's scary. Okay, now things are getting a little trickier. Got to focus here for just a second. I guess this is like a little arm coming off. I should have like studied the arm pieces before I built this. Oh, careful, careful. You've been a fan since 2017. Thanks. It's quite a while now. It's amazing how fast, like, we're in 2021 now here. A few years just zipped by. Oops, don't want to bump my camera. So here's a really cool arm. It kind of goes... And then back down. 
and it's going to attach where? Right under here about, I guess. So our first arm has been attached to our probe droid. How weird. It's going to help us build. It's 2013. That's so awesome. That's so amazing. Thank you. Did you know you can make Roblox games? Yes, and I'd love to make one someday for the channel. Wouldn't that be awesome? I keep meaning to do that. Hmm, what am I looking for? This is a weird piece. Here it is. I don't see this piece very often. It feels like something I haven't seen maybe since Nexo Nights. Hi, what are you? I am Dan. This is Squirrel Stampede. Thanks for watching. Um, we are building the Lego Star Wars Imperial Probe Droid, if you're just hopping in. And it's one of my favorite. I love Empire Strikes Back, so anything from Empire Lego is always entertaining. Although I typically go with a lot of like just Star Wars, like A New Hope stuff. What am I looking for now? <laughs> what? Where am I? Okay, I did this. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. I got totally like lost for a second. Um, looking for a piece. That. Oh, here it is, right there. It was right in front of me. Right in front of me. Okay, so this goes this direction. This part's really technical. That's why I'm like, I shouldn't read comments too much because I'm getting... There's going to be a Minecraft something cool. I missed that comment. Darn it. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of great Minecraft sets coming out. And it's going to be a... a <laughs> is it August? Everything? Another one of those big release months where it's like, oh, <laughs> how am I going to do this all at once? Like Lego Mario, Minecraft, Ninjago, all at once. Ah, <laughs> what do I do first? I don't know. They're all so cool. What do I build? This is such a technical little arm piece, but I think I'm getting it. Not that one. Not that one. That one goes there. That one goes there. <laughs> Look at that. Technical. Should have been a Technic set. That's not it. That's a cool piece, though. I'm looking for... Oh, it is that piece. I think it is. I thought it was a lightsaber piece, but it's actually this kind of longer rod piece. I don't think I've ever seen this rod piece before. It's cool looking. And uh do 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 did you come here to listen to me hum a song? <laughs> oh, now it's even weirder. Where is this going? Okay, so I need to slide this bar in. This here. Oh, that is such a technical little arm piece. And where does it go? <laughs> where does this go? This is so weird. This goes in like that. This goes out. Okay, okay. All right, so now we're going to attach it to the, the droid. It's getting tricky. Well, here we go. Happened to Luke. Um, I think it goes in this little piece. Yeah, I see it now. Yep, yep, okay. So it's going to... I just want to get them... 
this arm going in right in up under here. Here's where it goes. I think it's like that. I think, oh, is my droid tilting? Okay. Whoo! I see blue among your characters in the background. What? I don't see blue. What are you talking about? <laughs> Where? Where? Okay. Back down a little bit. Wobbly, wobbly. So now my probe droid has two arms. And let me work on another arm. I think there's three arms per this bag. Things were moving fast until we hit the arms. Tell me something. Turtles before dinosaurs. Oh, I lost it. Sorry. I missed it. I missed the comment. This part's just a little hard, so I'm really focusing. Why stop saying hello? Hello, penguins. <laughs> I kind of got concentrated there. Is it penguin or penguin? Penguin. Not penguin, penguin, right? That's like one of the most common mispronunciations. He is concentrating. <laughs> Yes, concentrating on the force. That'd be a tough job if you were in the uh, Empire and your job was to work on building a thousand Imperial probe droids for Vader to shoot out the bottom of your uh, Star Destroyer there. It'd be pretty stressful. And if you didn't get the job done right, whew, you'd get choked. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, Stewie Griffin is here. Awesome. I haven't watched Family Guy in a while. It's It's been a while. Kind of a crude show, but sometimes pretty silly. Long time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The good and bad about little pieces is that... They can speed up a build, but it do, you don't feel it because <laughs> they're so little. It's like, did I build something? But actually, you know, right here, this piece right here is like 10 pieces or something. Where does this go? How does this fit in? Okay, so we want to pull these out just a little bit. When am I going to do another Lego Minecraft? Um... We're kind of on a standby, although I have two sets that I need to get to. I've got a classic jungle set that is still in my office forever. And the jungle tree house, this is like a three-year-old set now, four-year-old, five-year-old. It's like Toys R Us days. And then I have the, a micro set, that one of the first original sets that I should do. That would be so fun. And I just haven't got to that yet. Hey, look, there's a unicorn. There's a unicorn on this thing. How oh, weird. Okay. 
I hope these clips last a while on this thing. Okay, so this one, can I kind of want to go this way, this way, this way. I mean, you can position these arms any way you want, obviously. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. There we go. Another arm. Oh, it's so cool. It's so awesome. Look at that. Use the force. You will build the rest of the build squirrels. Thank you. <laughs> Thank goodness for Mountain Dew. Okay, we have two bags left. Five is pretty small. I think five is... this arm. Is it just one arm on five or two? It could be one and one little arm. Yes, the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon is a really nice build. I like that it's a little bit different than all the other Falcons. I mean, they all kind of have kind of, for a while, they're the same footprint in a way. Um, I know the newest one has a new footprint, a better, different one, but just with the front pod on there and the white, um, looked really clean, like a brand new car, <laughs> and then it gets old. Um, yeah, Kessel Run Falcon, that was a fun one, and just, just cool minifigures. I wasn't the biggest fan of Solo, I know a lot of people weren't. Um, there were some moments, I liked the actor who played Solo, I actually liked him. It's just the movie, no movie starts out good when you have to um, start it off the way they did with like this, instead of like the Star Wars text crawl, which is really cool, they started it out with like just some boring blurb about some colony or something. It was just like, oh, this this isn't going to be good. Um, and then there were some other things, just, just too much going on. Um, beside that, though, all the characters were cool. And so or a lot of the characters were interesting, just not so in the movie, but... Uh, made for great minifigures. Um, and these are the type of minifigures, because there's not much backstory to them, you can create your own stories a lot easier. So yeah, I enjoyed that build. I would, I definitely need to watch it again too, because I've only seen Solo once. And I think I would like it more the second time. Um, now knowing what it was about and everything, I think it might be even more fun. I, I just have that feeling that that might be that style of movie. I hope. I hope it's not worse. It's too bad. It's too bad that they rushed that in the way that they did and, and everything. It, it deserved to be so much more. Yes, that's looking really cool so far. I'm impressed with this. I just got to find somewhere to put it when I'm done. I'm running out of shelf space. Oh, here's a cool... It's like the Imperial probe droid's going to go golfing. Oh, this is like a cool... Um, uh, piston. Awesome. Look at that. You got to make that noise when you build this. That's critical. And it's going to go golfing, yes. <laughs> I hear the golf courses on Hoth are awesome. <laughs> they are so fun. I think I have another little baggie of these. They gave me two baggies of these. And I have a feeling there's going to be leftover pieces. Ah. Any 
Any fun plans today? I think after this, I get to go mow the lawn. <laughs> That's exciting. I have not. I have, This year, I'm kind of taking a stand against the lawn. I might need to get someone to help me. And, uh, um, but I haven't got to that far yet, so I guess I got to do it myself for a few more weeks. And, uh, yeah, it's really, really long. It's like the probe droid would disappear in the grass. You'd be like, where'd the probe droid go? One, 10 minutes equals one month in Minecraft. Seriously? That's crazy. That would, um, that would, um, make sense though, how fast Steve can cut a tree down with his bare hands, like, duk, 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 if that took like all day just to do one trunk, I guess. That makes some sense. Ah, my favorite. Favorite arm so far, by far, is this one. Now we gotta rotate this around. Watch out, Rebel. And we're going for under this lamp somewhere. Those are the clips, no, under these clips here. This one, that's an easy one. Ta-da! Another successful arming. That's a side we don't see. I subbed you 14 years ago. Wow, impressive. How has it been 14 years? Can you believe it? What were we doing back then 14 years ago? Um, wow, Lego minifigure battles, anyone? Um, Happy Meal. I miss Happy Meal. I wish, you know... I used to have a great source that had everything ready to go first day and and they had some cool toys back then. And then, you know, when Kappa hit too, it was kind of like, well, maybe I should kind of say goodbye to, to Happy Meal for a while. Um, there was Star Wars this month, right? And um, it's funny there. It's almost like some things haven't changed because like they're, they still have their giant heads on the ships which is kind of funny. It's like they couldn't decide. It's like, well, let's do characters. No, let's do ships. Let's do characters. No, ships. Let's do both. <laughs> and they're just all weird. I'd much rather have one or the other. But that's what makes Happy Meal so amazing fun because it's always just so weird. <laughs> and cheap, like a dollar. Or get a, get a sandwich. I You know, I still, every once in a while, I'll go stop at a McDonald's and get a Happy Meal and, and play with the toy and and all that, but good times. What's my favorite car? Um, I don't really have a favorite car. Oops. What am I looking at here? Hang on just a second. Kind of like the new Ford Broncos. Those are cool, because we had a Bronco when I was a kid. There's, I guess, some joke about Ford right now using a dial as a shifter instead or something. It's just bizarre. It's always the little arms that are the most challenging. We're getting close, though. We're getting close. This looks like about a two hour build today, which is a little longer than normal for live. I try to pick the sets that are about an hour build. But this time I thought, ah, eh, let's try something different and fun. Okay, so where and how? Oh, just like this. It's too bad this set didn't come with a couple mini figures. Like it would have been cool had it um, had a, a Han Solo and a Chewbacca, I think, in snow gear. That would have been cool to put down on the base. Oh, watch out there. Okay, this is going to go where? 
where is this going to go? So it goes over on this side. It doesn't go under this, does it? No. Oh, does it come out of... Oh, it comes out of these. All right, that makes sense. And that means I have one more arm to do. Right there. That is a little tricky, trying to find the arms. It's like you got, oop, bump my camera. You got to shrink yourself down to the size of Nant to go underneath the thing. Oops, knocked a stormtrooper down. What is my favorite Star Wars character? Well, let's see. Earlier in the vid, I said Grievous and um, Lando. And should I add a third one to the, to the list of favorite characters? Um, Han Solo? <laughs> That's too easy. It's got to be someone cooler. How about um, Greedo? <laughs> Yeah, Greedo's pretty cool. Oh, you know, let's go with the bounty hunter, Bosk. I love Bosk. I have a few Bosk toys. Yeah, bounty hunters are so fun. Uh, bounty hunters and anything from the cantina, I just love because you can make up so much story of your own story, so much easier than you can with like Princess Leia. Yeah, you know, their stories are pretty much all been told. But the bounty hunters and all those guys, you can just sit there and pretend anything and really have fun with their stories. I have a um, some Hot Wheels bounty bounty hunter cars near my desk that I really like. They're like all kind of 70s cars because that's, you know, when the bounty earth 80s, 70s cars and uh, it just fits perfect with them. It's just so funny. They're so cool. Is the Mandalorian, I guess the Mandalorian is a bounty hunter. That's kind of what he does. I just started and I know it's been mostly spoiled, but I just started season two of The Mandalorian. I'm behind. I'm very behind. But I am enjoying that show. Did I do that right? kind of swings around funny. That's a weird arm. Yeah, I don't like how they did this arm. It just swings around. I'm going to have to look at that later and see if I did that right. For now, I think we are now done with our arms. It's so weird. Oh, watch out, Withered Foxy. Hang out over here now. Okay, so we are on our final bag. Favorite droid. RD2, maybe? I am considering a gaming channel, actually. I think I might finally set one up this June. I've got a few things to, to figure out, but I think I'm finally gonna start going, but I don't know what I'm playing yet other than Minecraft and Roblox stuff. And it'd probably just be a one, one game a week type of thing because I, my toy, the toys are the priority for me still. But we'll, we'll try it out. I think I'm gonna try it. So kind of keep your head up on that. Interesting. Ears out. I hope I'm not missing pieces. That's weird that they have those pieces separated. So I'm on bag six now. We're going to build the upper head of the droid. And I don't know why these are separated. I haven't seen them yet. I don't know what those are. 
Oh, there they are. Okay, so they're they're here. Okay, good. Oh, there's so many little pieces. It's like the final bag is like the final kapow. This thing goes right up here. And now we can just work on the head. So let's push this back and we're gonna go down a little bit. All right. Am I gonna vlog? I don't get to vlogging very much. There's just so many things to do. I mean, I'd like to do a lot of things, but it usually just ends up being um, finding awesome toys <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and seeing what they do. And that's usually what takes the majority of my time. Kind of stand up for a little minute so I can see. Here's a cool piece. I don't see this piece very often. Looks cool. Stretch. I need a more comfortable chair. I just noticed <laughs> sitting two hours, sitting almost two hours on this chair. Not good. What type of game in Roblox would I make? Or what type of game do I like to play? So I usually like to play the, the, um, Oh, what would you call them? Just kind of the build games, simulator games. I'm stuck on on a resort re resort tycoon right now, which is fud. And I liked Garden Simulator last year. Just those like you're like kind of con constantly like growing your account, growing your account, growing your your inventory, those are fun. And I do like kind of an obstacle run game occasionally too, as long as they're not too hard. Cause I don't know, I get, I get a little frustrated quickly. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. We're almost done. We're getting there. This is the Imperial Probe Droid build. It's pretty cool, pretty technical in parts. What is your favorite villain from Ninjago? Uh, Squirrelagami, does Squirrelagami count? <laughs> oh good, I like it when they put some solid color pieces inside to kind of help you build.
Have you seen the... There's a Lego drone? Seriously? Oh, that's going to be interesting. Oh, no, I did not know about that. Are we talking something that actually flies? And then crashes into a million pieces? I hope not. I will have to look into that. What live video would I do next? Good question. I like to do Lego just because it gives me something to do while we're here. Um, but I haven't really researched. We're kind of in that like middle period or that quiet time in between releases. So I guess that's good. That's go a good time to pick a set. Probably wouldn't be Star Wars. So we, we did Star Wars this time. And so next time... Hmm. How many Lego sets do I have? Um, pretty much close to the number I've reviewed. And there's a few, a few more here and there. Um, I was just thinking that the other day. Is it Bricklink? Who, so who, what's, which is the site that you can kind of log in and then, um, you can kind of categorize or you can kind of add up everything you have. Probably at least a hundred sets now. I don't know. That's a tough one. Maybe it seems like a, it seems like more, but when you, when you find out it's actually not as much, but you know, maybe, maybe we've gone through at least 40 Minecraft builds now or 30 Minecraft builds and we built like 30 or 40 Nexo Knights and Several Star Wars, several uh, several everything. So maybe 100, 150 sets we've gone through. But I don't keep everything. Some sets I I um, donate, and some sets I sell and retire and, and move around. So I love all these tiny pieces to end, end today with. Wow. Is there more Among Us sets? There are. I just ordered a few more weird stuff on Amazon. Oh, I don't know. It's a little weird because none of this is like official, is it? So it's all like bootleg and pirated and, and party stuff and, and cheap stuff. And, and I don't know where it's coming from. And it does it comes in the mail. And, and I mean, this is all on Amazon. Amazon is, is selling it. So I'm like, oh, okay. And it's really cool. But I found a whole bunch, another set of um, crewmates that are a little bit different. They're a little bit larger. And they're, they look really cool. So I want to show those guys soon. And then I found um, the admin, is it admin? An electrical room and um, ah, an admin. Two different rooms, actually. Two, two large room builds. Well, they're not large. They're, you know, medium-sized builds. Uh, and there's two more after that that aren't, that have not found yet, but will be available. Maybe they're just not ready yet. And then there's... Um, another crazy weird build of ships, ship pieces or rooms or something that one, it was just bizarre. It was, it looked like a ship, but it wasn't, or, you know, you have nine out of 12 Looney Tunes. Nice. I, I think I have the a collection, a full collection on order. And uh, I won't get to them and for about a week, unfortunately, because I don't. I think I'm still waiting for them. But yeah, I, I do have. I already have. Um, let me go get them. I have a Sylvester. Maybe if we have time, I'll open one more. Sylvester, what a great find. One of my favorites. Right off to start with. 
I figured I'd find like something really. There's a couple characters that are there. Every character is good, but there's a couple that are just like supporting characters, and so it's like me. And usually those are the characters I would pull first and be like, oh man. <laughs> How is one supposed to get that in there? One was supposed to get that in there earlier and didn't do it until now. Okay. <laughs> that was tricky. Oh, this is even more tricky. This next step. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so I need two of these. How many Minecraft Lego sets are there? You know, there's quite a bit now. And so I'm like, I got to go through. I have not reviewed every set. I missed the village. I missed the farm. Um, I missed the original micros, even though I've got one that I should build I should just put that in soon. I think everyone would love to see it. I would love to build it. So I really need to add that to my list. My list right now is kind of light. So that's great. I have some time to do some things that I haven't done in a while. Speed champion. Yeah, why haven't I done a speed champion? That's a good point. We've built um, a couple. My son, Ben, built, has built a few, and they're really cool. They're quite, they're, they're so much more complicated than you think. Hex bugs. I haven't been on hex bug in a while. Hex bugs are always fun. I think we did a cool set last fall. The, the the new nanotopias with all those really cool um the jelly walls were awesome that was an awesome idea getting some of these pieces to go the direction right now i should be paying more attention all these little rods and sticks you got to make sure they're sticking out what is my favorite lego set uh, I often go back to the Nexo Night for tricks. That was pretty awesome. That was one of my favorites. It's just so bizarre. Just focusing right now. It's kind of tricky. Yeah, I try to get to Roblox from time to time. I enjoy it. I've, like I said, I've been playing Resource Re Resort, not Resource Resort Tycoon a little bit lately. That's been just fun. I may that may probably end up in a video at some point, just showing what I did there and what you can do there. It's an easy one though. I, I am I probably pick the um, the uh, more weird games <laughs> or not weird just the more off games than the popular ones Man, this headpiece is pretty cool, but pretty complicated. Really got to watch where you're going here.
These look like half of a thermal detonator. He's holding a thermal detonator. Ah! Yeah, I try to, I, I don't, I miss a lot of questions too because I'm, I'm half looking at both. That's a cool eyepiece. Toot, toot. One, two, or three. Yeah, I'll try to open. I only have this one, I think, available. To oh! Oh dear, I hope that piece wasn't important. I dropped it and I have no idea where it went. It kind of like fell off my table and like disappeared as it fell. Never to be seen again. To become one with the carpet. Let's see if I can find it. Wow, that really disappeared. Oh, here it is. Nothing critical, just a gray stud. <laughs> I thought it was, I'm looking for right now, this is what I was looking for. I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Where is it? We're so close. So close to the end, yet still so far. It's cool that, it's so cool that um, Looney Tunes and Space Jam are still so popular. Um, as, you know, Looney Tunes kind of comes and goes at times. It's not, it doesn't have that like Disneyland ability to kind of push it. But everyone still loves Bugs and, and Sylvester. That's awesome. Because they've got such a more violent <laughs> in a way slapsticky violentness to them that is so funny it's just they definitely have their uniqueness and so that's cool that the lego ones especially have been real popular whoa did you even get the metaverse crates for the event in roblox i don't think i did are we talking um Resource, resort tycoon. There was some something cool going on there, and I missed it. Oh, don't don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Oh, excuse me, blue. I need this. Get back to Lego Super Mario for the last time. I know I can't wait. We've got kind of like a little um. A little bit of a wait here for the new sets, but like I said, I've got a Lego Mario versus Lego action figure Mario thing coming up soon. That should be fun. How does this fit in? Oh, it fits here. So yeah, it's kind of a bummer how slow sometimes the lego mario sets are coming out so we got a little bit of time to wait lego mario is right here though <laughs> i just noticed he was off to the side there i thought he was on my other shelf Getting closer, getting closer. I wonder if I built that one. I think I may have missed a piece on one, something similar to this a while ago. But I don't think it's gonna, it's not gonna kill it, so we're good. Oop, 
Oh, careful. Oh, there you go. Three gray studs are on this one. Gaming with Luke is back. He says, hi, I'm back. I don't get to everybody at all. Everyone's names, I'm sorry. Well, it's just too tricky. Okay, what happened here? What am I looking at? Did I turn this thing? Oh, okay, here we go. So this goes underneath this. Eee. Talk about a very complicated little piece I'm building here. Yay, a brown piece, something other than just red or gray. Oops. That was a nice solid deck, solid floor deck. Oop, eat, eat, careful, careful. Please play Fortnite. I've been playing a little bit on my Switch, which is kind of fun. But I am not the best gamer of that style of game. I can get shot up pretty quickly. I usually just hide and hide in a bush for the whole game. Have you built the big Lego SpongeBob? I don't think I did. I built, you know, when it first came out, I built the pineapple house, the basketball one, <laughs> which is kind of funny. It had like a basketball theme going with it. And I built the superhero boat set with Super Bob and Patrick. Forgot what their names were. I always wanted to do Sandy Squirrel's rocket, and for some reason I did not get to Sandy Squirrel's rocket. I hope Lego gets another SpongeBob release at some point. I did a lot of Mega Constructs for a while there. They were fun. The minifigures were fun. The sets were a little challenging, but... It's moving fast now, now that we're building the core roof of this thing. You may be thinking it's a speed build, but it's not. Excuse me, Mario. Couple more stickers, just make sure I'm oriented in the right direction. Three. When, yeah, I definitely would like to get to the new Ninjagos when they come out, Ninjago sets. I think it's August, right? I'm guessing. I don't know if I'll get to them all this time. I couldn't believe I got to them all. This last release, it was easier. There was less sets, only four sets. And when I combined a couple, that, that made it easier. Okay, getting closer. Am I missing a gray round stud? There's been so many, they should have extras of gray round studs. August, so an August release. Nice, there's a, there's a little skate. 
<laughs> Someone's skate is on top of this thing. A roller skate. Okay, here we go. Now we can put this thing on top. We are almost done with this guy. It is so cool. Okay, <laughs> Sylvester, Mario, <laughs> got a lot of a lot of oddities in Star Wars today. Oh, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't think this, but this head is going to rotate, of course. Okay, where's the front here? What am I looking at? <laughs> what have I done? This piece is all rotated funny. Where? There. Okay, so that. No. There. Oh, come on. Don't fall off. Don't fall off on me now. It's just getting some of these things to line up right. Okay. A little bit stressful here. And we got it. Makes that squeaky noise. Oh, that's cool. Now we got to get his antenna on. The very iconic antenna. How much does this cost? I believe this set runs 60. It's kind of along the lines. Yay, we're done. We did it. It's on the lines of um, the Star Wars helmets. Like this year, Vader and... Uh, what were the other helmets? Uh, forest Trooper and something else. Okay, how do I get a better angle of this? Drop back a little bit. There it is. Wow. <laughs> kind of hard to see it. It's, it's, so t it's a little tall, so I'm getting kind of a little bit of a warp to it. There is the droid. Oh, maybe it's it's balancing a little funny. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Look at that. What a build. Pretty complicated in some parts, but not as bad as I thought in most parts. The only thing I don't like is this arm kind of rocks, but all these arms can move. Each arm has like a little different kind of claw to it. This was our favorite golfing piston arm and this arm over here oh what a fun build we got a little plaque of information down there manufacturer arachid industries that's something i need to research more galactic empire exploration reconnaissance long range sensors blaster how cool that is awesome what a build that was really fun thanks everyone for stopping in for watching that build that was totally worth worth the fun to build this one We've got a little extra time people said hey let's see what else is we have in here oh no this is the character i was like this is the character i probably get a whole bunch of knowing my luck and I don't even know her name. This is like Porky Pig's companion friend. I do not know her name. Oops, I forgot her dress. That's pretty funny that I got this one. This is the one I was like, oh, man. That's funny. And she has like a little tea set. I don't, I, I've, I just don't know if I've ever seen her in an episode. How weird. At least Sylvester has someone to run around with, so. <laughs> there it is. All right, everybody, thanks. We just hit about two hours perfectly, so I'm going to end it here. And thanks, everyone, for watching today. And the next live will come up in a couple weeks or so. And uh, we'll see lots of new toys coming. Don't forget to watch the next uh, Transformers review coming up. Transformers Kingdom. We've got some pizzeria build sets coming up still so those will be really fun 
uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Watch out for the Pizzeria builds. Um, Pizzeria Sim builds. And there was one other thing. Mario, Lego Mario versus Mario. So that's coming out too. So awesome. Everybody, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining and watching this crazy, awesome build of the Imperial Probe Droid. Very nice.